Well, I grew up here. My dad came back out of World War II and he farmed row crop and cattle in the, what we call the Congaree River Swamp, which is a forested floodplain that runs from Columbia all the way down to uh, the confluence of the Watery and the Congaree Rivers, the beginnings of the Santee. My name is Clay Chapel, and I'm one of the owners of Southland Fisheries here at Hopkins, South Carolina. Uh, my brother, Dr. Jesse Chapel, and my partner, David Burnside, and I started this company in uh, December of 1980. We are primarily seed stock producers of um, commercial fish and uh, sport fish. We've, we've uh, been able to grow and adapt to different types of uh, aquaculture production. And we primarily produce the uh, bluegill and shell cracker brim, the hybrid bluegill brim, the channel catfish, the uh, largemouth bass, the hybrid striped bass. Uh, we uh, uh, produce probably um, uh, approximately 100 million hybrid striped bass a year. The babies uh, that are that are shipped all over the world. One of the other fish we produce here are the white amur sterile grass carp, and they are a uh, biological uh, control for aquatic weeds and grass and moss. They're like underwater cattle or sheep or horses. They're a grazing, browsing type animal, and they actually consume the vegetation in the pond. They uh, last about eight to 10 years, so they're our least expensive method of uh, aquatic weed control in our ponds and lakes in the uh, southeastern United States. Yeah, people thought I was crazy when they, I said aquaculture, they thought I was just mispronouncing agriculture. We have um, uh, a little bit uh, more understanding in our general population uh, for instance, uh, 20 years ago, most folks did not know the tilapia. We have the tilapia, which is a, uh, a tropical fish and a very uh, desirable table fish, but it cannot tolerate cold weather. So all of the tilapia have to come indoors uh, in uh, September prior to the weather getting cold. We have uh, five uh, full-time people here, and um, um, all of us have our different uh, chores and jobs that we do, and then sometimes we uh, come together to uh, uh, get a particular task accomplished. I have uh, uh, been involved for the, the Buy Local and uh, South Carolina Label product since its inception. Um, I very much encourage uh, customers to buy South Carolina products, whether it's fish or uh, shrimp or sweet potatoes or collards. Um, uh, what do they say, charity begins at home. This is a beautiful pond beside us here, but uh, this pond was built about the time of the Revolutionary War. And uh, to build this pond today would take probably a, a half a million dollars of law work and a stack of legal documents an inch thick. That was before you ever bought the land or ever moved the first spoonful of dirt. Well, it's a beautiful pond. Uh, animals here and the fish here and the people enjoy it. My brothers and I hunted and fished and we hunted and fished some more and we hunted and fished a lot more. So we sort of grew up catching fish, uh, not so much commercially, but just cause we wanted to catch more fish. Uh, like uh, any other types of agriculture, it's a, a very involved process where you have to plan ahead and project ahead you can't wait till you want to eat a potato to go plant a potato. It's the same way with the fish. You have to have ongoing production. I have a uh, son at Clemson in uh, fisheries and wildlife. Luke is 19. He's working on the farm for us uh, here this summer. My daughter, is, uh, Sally, is uh, 22. She's a uh, Clemson graduate in history, and she is going back to school for the x-ray technology. And then my older son, Matt, uh, is at uh, MUSC Med School down in Charleston. And uh, Matt worked here from when he was about nine years old until he left to go to school. And um, I kind of burned him out on the fish farms. They feel the vibrations of the truck or the tractor. They know somebody's bringing them something to eat. makes for a long day some days and it's just part of the business. If you don't like being outside, if 
you're uh, not um, okay with getting wet or muddy, then fish business won't be too good for you. But if you've uh, got a little bit of uh, alligator in your blood and you like being in the water and you like handling fish, then fish business is not too bad.